Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a disk to an existing cluster. In this demo, we'll be learning prerequisites of using iSCSI disk. We're using iSCSI technology to create the disk. Some organization uses SAN as their storage backend and or NetApp or whatever your storage backend is, it really doesn't matter. Uh, procedure remains the same that you create the disk and you assign to uh, the nodes in the cluster. And in this demo, we'll be also learning how to create shared disk using iSCSI virtual disk, how to create iSCSI targets, how to assign share, shared disk to cluster nodes, how to bring disk online on cluster nodes, how to add disk finally as a cluster resource. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and create the disk. I am keep in mind that uh, uh, the prerequisites of using iSCSI initiator to create the disk is that uh, all the nodes um, that you're trying to assign the iSCSI disk after you create the iSCSI disk needs to have uh, iSCSI services running. When you go on the targets and uh, uh, click on iSCSI, it will tell you that services are not running. So just go ahead and click yes and it'll start the services. So let's go ahead and uh, create a disk. You cannot uh, create uh, iSCSI disk on any of the node that is part of the cluster. So you have to basically create on some other server. Whatever your storage server is, you need to create the disk on that. So let's go ahead and this is my uh, server where I'm going to create uh, a disk and then I'll be presenting that disk to the cluster nodes and then we'll go from there. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on server manager. And you need to click on file and storage services. Once you click on that, we're going to go ahead and use iSCSI. Up here, if if your services are not running, when you click on iSCSI, it will tell you that services are not running. You need to uh, click yes in order to run the services. So all you need to do is click yes, and then you will go ahead and uh, click on uh, create an iSCSI virtual disk, start new iSCSI virtual disk wizard. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. The wizard will open. This is the server where I'm going to go ahead and create the disk. Right now, the volume right here is, in, in your case, in SAN or NetApp, you will have a volume that would have a huge storage, and you're going to go ahead and create a disk out of that. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and create one gig disk, and I'm going to present it and add it as a disk, as a disk resource in my cluster. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, C, and let's go ahead and click Next. iSCSI virtual disk name, you can use this up here the name and assign any node that you want to so I'm going to go ahead and say shared disk quorum so shared disk queue in my case you can put a description that this this disk is going to be used as a quorum in cluster whatever uh, if it's going to be used for SQL Server data then you can put a description according to your um, requirements so let's go ahead and choose the size click next I'm going to create a one gig disk because this is just for a demo purposes. Next, we're going to go ahead and just fix size up here. Uh, sometimes if you wanted to create a disk, huge disk and wanted to just uh, uh, manipulate and control the size, you can go ahead and do the dynamic expanding and differencing and all that good stuff right here. But um, in this demo, we're going to go ahead and keep the size fixed. So let's go ahead and click next. These are the target uh, right here, iSCSI targets. If you, right here is existing iSCSI target. This was uh, created in previous demo. We're gonna go ahead and click new iSCSI target. So click next. Cluster Q drive. This is my uh, target name and I will be using this target name because this target name will contain all the drives if I create more than one drives right now in this demo I'm creating just one drive so next click next up here you need to add the servers that who are going to access uh, this disk this is where you want to go ahead and add the ser um, uh, nodes your cluster nodes so I'm, in my case I have um, up here uh, you you have different choices uh, you can go ahead and click enter the values right here and DNS name IP address MAC address of your target um, servers so in my case it's going to be DNS name and my first server is TBS 
client that is the first node uh, in my cluster so I click OK and it added right here and then I'm going to go ahead and add another node because this is going to be a shared disk and it is going to be shared uh, by a two node cluster so uh, you need to provide the nodes that that is in your cluster so my second node is TBS SQL and I'm going to go ahead and do the DNS name and these are two servers that I want this disk to be used they will share this disk so I'm going to go ahead and click next we don't need to select any of this option using iSCSI so let's go ahead and click next up here is the summary and a confirmation click on create this will be creating a shared disk don't worry about this um, right here one or more uh, initiator parameters may be invalid ensure you enter primary after we have made sure that uh, I have made sure that there is a communication between this server and my node so I'm not worried about it this is just a warning uh, it is basically asking you that uh, um, there there should be a communication between these two servers uh, this server and your target um, nodes so I do have that communication you need you might want to go ahead and basically check the communication between your nodes and uh, your storage server in my case this is my storage server TBS SP so um, there is a communication between all my nodes and um, this storage so I'm going to go ahead and close so here is the disk it, right now the status is not connected we're gonna go ahead and right click on this uh, on this uh, uh, disk that we created and click assign iSCSI virtual disk and right here are the targets we created a new target cluster right here quorum right here cluster uh, Q drive I'm sorry so this this uh, uh, target was created in previous demo but uh, this is the one that we're gonna go, go ahead and use and it'll tell you right here that uh, in this uh, target that we chose cluster drive what are the SQL uh, what are the servers or nodes that are associated with this particular target right now it is TBS client and TBS SQL in my case and if you choose more targets you if you wanted to share this disk in, in with the more uh, nodes uh, cluster nodes you can go ahead and add that so we're gonna go ahead and click next this is the confirmation and we're going to go ahead and click assign the assignment is completed click close so let's go ahead and on our uh, target servers which is two nodes and we're gonna go ahead and see if that disk is there so we're gonna go ahead and minimize this and here is my one of my server TBS client so I'm going to go ahead and open the manager again and here is click on file and right here file iSCSI click on tools and click on iSCSI initiator this is the initiators what we need to do right now is go ahead and click this target right here is where you have created the disks in my case it would be Tech Brothers SP this is my storage server right here so you need to be connected with this in order to basically uh, connect to that uh, uh, disk that you created or number of disks that you have created so we're gonna go ahead and click quick connect and it is connected right here and we're gonna go ahead and click connect here it's connected so done click OK now it's connected we're gonna go ahead and disconnect basically this one this was again from the previous demo so click OK that's all you need to do now we're gonna go ahead and open computer management and see if it is presented to our node so click on disk management if you don't see this this is the disk that we just created if you don't see this disk in here you need to right click on the disk management and rescan for the disks and it'll bring the disk up here 
So now, uh, next thing is that we need to bring this disk online and we need to do other necessary configuration for this disk. We're gonna go ahead and right click on the disk and bring it online. And disk is online, but it's disabled. We're gonna go ahead and click initialize disk. This is my disk, so use the following partition style. If you have um, a requirement to do the partition style of GPT, you can click that. But this is what uh, uh, MBR master boot record would be uh, just fine. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. As you can see, the disk is online now, but it's not allocated. So we're going to go ahead, right click and click on new simple volume. Next. And here is our disk. We're going to go ahead and click next and we're going to go ahead and assign a drive right now assign the following drive letter up here whatever uh, your drive letter is going to be in my case since i'm going to use this disk as a quorum disk i'm going to go ahead and click q right here it'll make it easier for me to remember that so click next and up here volume label is i'm going to go ahead and cluster quorum and this disk needs to be formatted before you can use it so we're gonna go ahead and perform quick format click next and finish we're gonna go ahead right click and refresh as you can see that uh, the volume name appeared right here and the drive letter cluster QM and Q. So our right now our disk is pretty healthy and it's usable. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on our node 2. So we're going to go ahead and uh, sign into our node 2. In my case it's TBS SQL. Here's our server manager. We're gonna go ahead and click on tools and iSCSI initiator. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this. This is again from the previous demo. We're gonna go ahead and connect again with our storage server, which is in my case TBS SP. So we're gonna click on quick connect. As you can see right here, um, Cluster Q drive, this is the target that we created. We're going to go ahead and activate this one. Click connect and it's connected, we're done. And as you can see that it's connected and click OK. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We can close this and go in computer management. and go to our disk management and here's the disk as soon as usually the disk on second node basically um, is offline as soon as you will bring online then it'll pick up your drive letter and also your um, um, volume name but keep in mind that uh, if you're using multiple disks, sometimes what happens is that this the, the drive letter is not the same, but in order to uh, add that disk to your cluster, the volume, volume name and drive letter needs to be the same. So we're going to go ahead and right click and bring it online. And as you can see, uh, it picked up the volume name. Right. Let me refresh this. It should basically go ahead and get the drive letter from our previous installation which is right here it's D now which is not D we're gonna go ahead and change it change the drive letter because we need to um, make it Q in order to add this to our cluster so right here is cluster Q um, you can go ahead and format it again if you want to but uh, right now it's a healthy uh, partition right here so next thing is that we're going to go ahead and add this disk as a cluster resource so we're gonna go ahead and close this you can use um, either nodes uh, failover cluster right here so I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, 
open the failover cluster manager and here is my cluster this is uh, the cluster that I already created you need to expand the cluster you need to go to storage and as you can see it has disks and pools click on disks right now I do not have any disk attached to this cluster so we're going to go ahead and add this this disk that we just created as a resource so click add disk this is the disk that we just created we're going to go ahead and disk one on node TBS client so we're okay with that click OK and it's bringing the disk online as you can see the disk is online right now and the current owner is node 1 you can disk to another owner which is in my case is uh, TBS SQL so we're gonna go ahead and click on select node and click on TBS SQL and see if this disk will uh, come online and OK on TBS SQL. As you can see, that failed over to TBS SQL right here. The current owner is changed from TBS client to TBS SQL. So basically, this is how you add um, disk to an existing cluster. In my case, that I had two node cluster. We have created iSCSI disk and we shared the disk um, in, we, we created the iSCSI target assign shared disk to clustered nodes and bring the disk online on both clustered and finally we went ahead and add the disk as a cluster resource and we simulated the failover and then after that we basically failed over that particular disk to another node and I hope